Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this neon text effect. First we'll create a background. Let's open a new document, select the rectangle tool, get rid of the stroke, change the fill to black and draw a rectangle to cover the whole artboard. Next we'll add some color to it. You can either use the new freeform gradient or the mesh tool. I will show you both ways. Let's open the gradient panel and choose the freeform gradient. Now change each point to black. If you would like to learn more about the freeform gradient and how to use it, please check out my other tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description below. Next add a few extra points in the middle and change their color to anything you like. Darker colors work best. Now I will show you the other way to create a background using the Mesh tool. After you draw a black rectangle, select the Mesh tool from the side toolbar. Then go to Object and choose Create Gradient Mesh. Set the rows and columns to 3 and click OK. Next switch to the Direct Selection tool and click on this anchor point. Now apply a color of your choice. And do the same with the other three points. Let's lock the layer with the background and make a new layer. First we will create this 3D template. Press the letter T for the type tool and type your text. Now resize it, choose a different font and change the fill to white. With the text selected, go to Effect, 3D and choose Extrude and Bevel. Check the preview box to see what we are doing. Let's change the rotation around the X and Y axis to 0, the perspective to 50 and the extrude depth to 100. You can always do more adjustments later. If you like, with the text still selected, open the character panel and decrease the tracking number. To edit the 3D effect, open the appearance panel. If you don't see it, go to window and select appearance. Now click on 3D extrude and bevel. Check the preview box. Highlight one of the values you would like to adjust and use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Let's align it vertically to the center. And we've got a template for our project. If you like, you can change the name of this layer to template and lock it. Let's create another layer. Next, we'll make two custom art brushes. Select the ellipse tool and draw a small circle. Open the transform window and change the width and the height to 2 pixels. Let's zoom in on the circle. Now create a copy and change the width and the height to 1 pixel. Select both circles and change their color to light gray. Next adjust the anchor points to create similar shapes to this. Please see my other tutorial to learn more about creating custom brushes. You will find a link to it in the description. When you are done, open the brushes panel and drag one of these shapes here. Select the art brush and click OK. Now repeat the same process with the other shape. And we've got two brushes. You can delete these shapes. Let's unlock the template layer, select it and change the fill to dark gray. Lock it again. Select the top layer. Zoom in on the first letter. Switch to the pen tool. 
Get rid of the fill and change the stroke to light grey. Now draw lines to outline the letter. And do the same with the remaining letters. Now make sure everything is selected and apply the first brush we've created. Select the second brush, zoom in and press the letter B for the brush tool. Now continue to outline the letters of the template. Let's create a new layer and lock the layer with the lines. Choose a darker grey. Swap the fill and the stroke, select the pen tool and outline only the front surface of the letters. There is no need to be precise. Now make sure the new layer is selected, then open the transparency panel and change the blending mode to color dodge. If you like you can choose a lighter shade of grey. The lighter the grey, the brighter the color effect you will get. Now turn off the visibility of the template layer. Unlock the layer with the lines and change the blending mode to color dodge as well. Finally we will create this light glare effect. Let's make a new layer, make sure it is selected, swap the fill and the stroke, open the gradient panel, select the black and white gradient and choose radial. Add one color stop here and delete this one. Double click on the black color stop, click on this icon in the upper right corner, select CMYK and move all the sliders to 100. Now switch to the ellipse tool and draw a circle. If you like you can adjust the slider. Let's move this circle over here and change its blending mode to color dodge. Now create several copies and place them in random locations. Let's create one more copy, scale it up and using the selection tool bring the circle to the shape of an ellipse. Now place it along some of the lines. Let's create one more copy, resize it and place it at the bottom. Thanks for watching and bye bye.